Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another thrift haul to share with you guys. This one is going to be pretty similar to the last thrift haul that I uploaded. I went to all the same stores that I went to two weeks ago. Um, last week I went to the Houston Goodwill Bins or the Goodwill Outlet. And then I went to the Family Thrift Center outlet. I did go on Thursday again where everything is priced at $2 each. And then lastly, I went to some regularly priced Goodwill stores. So I have it all organized here. I'll let you know when I switch from store to store. Um, basically, the clothing goes from least expensive to more expensive. Um, and so, yeah, for everything, I paid $128, I believe. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. I'm going to start off with the Goodwill outlet. I first grabbed this American Eagle vintage uh, floral sweater. I thought it was so cute. I picked this up purely for style. Here's the brand tag. It looks like a very old tag, um, but the sweater is in really good shape. I just absolutely love this print and the colors. Um, so I had to grab that. It's a size medium. It's definitely oversized. It fits more like a large. Next up we have this Maeve for anthropology dress. It's like a one shoulder dress and this is so pretty. It's floral and then it has like a studded design, if you can see that. Um, it was missing the tie here. But I just, uh, I had like a choker necklace that I never wore anymore. So I just kind of, um, you know, threw that in there. So I'll definitely note that on the listing. But it looks pretty similar to um, what I saw in the stock photo. So, you know, um, I think it's fine. This is a size 10. So this is a really good find. It also has like a lace trim at the bottom, which I thought was super cute. Okay, this was a really nice find. This is the first thing that I grabbed when I got there. It's Kate Spade, size small, and it's a cropped leopard print sweater with a really cute velvet bow detail at like the um, collar there. And this is 100% wool. It's really good quality. It's definitely cropped. Um, I looked to, to make sure that, you know, it wasn't shrunk or anything, but they all, all the ones that had sold on Poshmark were this around this length um and the only ones listed right now were like 80 to 120 dollars from what i remember so um, this was a really good find another piece i picked up on style this is umji umji actually does pretty well for me i like to have it as like bread and butter um, in my closet people like to bundle with it it's a floral kind of boho peasant top and it has this really cute lace-up detail in front it's a size large so it's a great size um, so yeah I like that we have a pair of anthropology wide leg kind of trouser pants this sub brand is high high which I really like um, they are printed and um, so yeah, really like those. They're in excellent condition. These actually were at the regular Goodwill store. They had a Goodwill tag on them. Those were not like a raw donation. Um, and then second to last bins fine. This is free people. It doesn't have a size, but I think this is either extra small or small. Um, my dog's going crazy in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. But it is one of their thermal cuffs, and it does have kind of the decorated cuff there. Um, so this was a really good find. It has the rounded bottom hem, just a super, like, soft and stretchy material. I love finding these. They're always pretty good sellers. Okay, last find from the bin. This is a Gap Academy blazer. I've never picked up a blazer from the Gap before. But I did run comps on this at the bins, and it looks like it sells for around $25 to $30. Um, so, you know, I probably paid around a dollar for it. I'm definitely um, happy, you know, if that's my flip price for it. It's really nice. It's in great condition. It's navy, and then it has this contrast black 
um, kind of piping detail there. Okay, moving on into the Family Thrift Center outlet. Again, each of these um, finds were $2 each. We have one pair of shoes. These are Steve Madden. And they're like a heeled um, sandal. They're like a suede also, so they could be worn in the fall time. Um, and they're a size 8. The style name is the Revere. And now on to clothing. Blue and gray. This is Ann Taylor's um, like casual uh, division line or their like soft and cozy division line. Um, so a couple reasons as to why I grabbed the sweater. First off, it's a size extra large, which, which is a great size. Um, I liked the print. It's a neutral color, long line. It's, you know, the seasonality is good. And also it has wool and alpaca in it. So I definitely wanted to grab it. Here's the, you're not going to be able to read that. Um, but yeah, acrylic, nylon, wool, and 3% alpaca. So it's super soft, very high quality. It has the drop shoulder, so it's, you know, got that casual, chic vibe going on. I was super excited about this next find. I have never, ever found this brand. Um, Barefoot Dreams. I see people all the time. And I'm always so jealous because it looks so like soft and cozy, which it definitely is. This is, it's called the Cozy Chic Ultra Light uh, line. And I think that's the most popular because it's like the softest. Um, I believe this is sold at Nordstrom. I should know that. I used to work there um, in like the, I want to say like the lingerie or like the intimate section. Um, because I think it is kind of with like the robes and stuff. But anyways, this is just a super soft waterfall cardigan. It has pockets, which, which is so nice. Um, it's a size small, medium, and it's in excellent condition. So um, I cannot tell you, I literally just like grabbed it off of the rack and threw it into my cart. I didn't inspect it or anything. I was just like, I'm buying that. I don't care, you know, what it looks like. I have to get that. It's a Sundance, size small, and these do really well for me. The thermals, um, really anything with like some embroidery or interest to it from Sundance does well for me. These are the cuffs. It kind of reminds you of um, the Free People thermals. Also has kind of this cowl neck, so a really cute kind of basic top. Okay, another pretty exciting find. This is a YSL. Uh, just kind of basic ribbed t-shirt and this is in flawless condition it doesn't look like it was ever worn um, the material is very like new feeling even though it's definitely a vintage piece um, I can tell by the um, brand tag and then the material tag on the inside I thought when I first looked at it that it might have like a stain around the collar I don't know if it's picking up but Basically, it has one tan thread going all the way around the outermost edge of the collar. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know if it's going to pick that up, but it's definitely a thread because I looked at it super closely. So it's actually on the bottom as well. And then there is the YSL embroidered logo there. So this is a pretty cool find. I don't know what I'll list it for yet. Obviously it is designer, but it is, you know, more of a basic piece. So I'll have to do a little bit of research. Okay. Another basic, this is made well, size extra small. I actually grabbed this for me, but I think I'm going to end up reselling it. I didn't love, um, the way that it fit. It was just a little too slouchy, um, but it is super cute. It's that slub material, has the pocket in front. Another great find, this is Guinevere from Anthropology, And this is a wool blend cardigan. So it has a lot of really pretty interesting details. It has a velvet collar as well as the velvet um, wrist cuffs there 
and then the buttons have some detail to them, a little ribbon and velvet on the pockets. And then we have this really pretty floral pin here, velvet floral pin. Um, this is a size medium, really pretty piece. This is Torrid, size three. Torrid is vanity sizing, so that's 3X. And this is a really cozy lips printed sweater. How cute is this? Very fun. Um, Torrid sweaters usually do really well for me, so I definitely wanted to grab this. It's in great shape. Um, next up we have Athleta. And again, this is just another really nice, cozy, essential piece. Everything at the store I was finding was, um, you know, super uh, great for the season, for like fall and winter coming up. Just really nice, cozy, essential pieces. Um, so yeah, this is like a very light, heathered gray, super soft. It's like that stretchy jersey material. Again, with the pockets, which is always awesome. It doesn't have a size tag or a care tag. They were both cut out. But it does measure like a large or an extra large. Um, I always just, you know, include measurements if the size tag is missing. This is Maeve by Anthropology. This is the newer tag. I want to say this is the Roswell top. Um, but I liked the pop of red and um, yeah, not much to say. It's like a kind of a bohemian vibe with the um, wider sleeves. This is a size two. We have a J Crew size medium. And I loved this. It's just, you know, again, very basic, essential piece. Um, it's 100% merino wool, so it's great quality, very soft, um, and then it has the buttons. I believe this is a tunic, so um, I like the buttons there for some added interest. We have a Rails flannel. I haven't found this brand in quite some time. I just need to um, depill it a little bit, just a little bit. Um, it's mostly in great shape, size medium. Um, I liked the colors in this. I thought it would go really well with jeans and boots. Zara. Again, just a, a basic essential piece. This is like a midi dress, a ribbed midi dress. And um, how cute would this be, you know, with just like a scarf layered and then um, some booties. This is a size medium. We have Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor size medium. And I love the color blocking on this. So it has um, navy and black stripes and then pink, green, um, and then like a ruffled kind of half bell sleeve there, or short bell sleeve. Um, so I thought this was super cute. I don't, I definitely don't always pick up Ann Taylor, but the more interesting pieces I will. We have a Lily Pulitzer dress, and I thought this was pretty cute. Um, it has grasshoppers and lemons on it, so definitely, you know, not the season right now, but I wanted to get it. It's a size 4, and it's in excellent condition. I might just put it up for the summertime. It also has pockets again. I love when stuff has pockets. Okay, I think this is the last piece from the Family Thrift Center outlet. This is J. Jill. Again, I picked this up on style, and also it is a size extra large, so that's awesome. How cute is this? It's like a Southwestern printed cardigan blazer. Um, and I just absolutely love the print and the colors in this. Again, great with jeans for the fall time, winter time. This is a wool blend, so it is a great um, fabric, great quality. Um, that's usually like, you know, what I look for when um, I'm going based on style is like the print, the fabric, um, 
the size sometimes. If this were a size small from J. Jill, I may not have picked it up. Um, I don't know though, this print is super cute, but um, J. Jill and you know the more mature brands like Eileen Fisher, Soft Surroundings, I typically only pick up larger sizes now, like large, extra large, or plus size, um, because those sizes typically do a little bit better for these mature brands. I have noticed um, in my, you know, selling history. Okay, now we will move on into pieces from the regularly priced Goodwill stores. First off, we have a cloth and stone chambray dress, and um, this is a size medium. These are great to wear with like some boot socks or um, what are they called? Yeah, the things that like go on your legs underneath your boots. Um, I think they're, I forget, leg warmers maybe. Um, but with those and then some boots, super cute. Eileen Fisher, we have a size medium, um, red Christmas, uh, sweater how cute would this be for christmas time it kind of has a uh large v-neck um i was just saying actually that i don't pick up anything smaller than like large extra large in eileen more mature brands however this has an a, an additional thing going for it it is very very um on trend right now for you know christmas time holidays so i definitely am on the hunt for just you know red sweaters in general and then you add the brand on top of it, I will definitely grab this. And it's also in like new condition. I think this is 100% cotton. Um, so yeah, that was a good find. And then we have a pair of Anthropology harem pants. These are 11 C's, size extra small, super cute. They're like a baby pink and then navy print, wide leg. So I really liked those. They do have pockets. Oh, I do have one pair of shoes from um, Goodwill. These are Elizabeth and James, which is the Olsen Twins fashion line. Um, I think this brand may um, begin to be sold at like TJ Maxx or something. So I think that probably will devalue the brand, but um, these were definitely um, you know, had a pretty high retail price. I think they should do fine. They are a great neutral color and a nice style, good size, size nine. Um, so, you know, I think those will do well. Next up we have Joie, size small, just a striped chambray blouse. The stock photos on this were really cute. And again, you know, this is an essential piece with jeans and boots. Okay, here's another piece that I picked up um, with, you know, Christmas time, holidays in mind, mod cloth, size small. It's a scalloped, it's kind of like a little bit off the shoulder, a scalloped uh, midi dress. So pretty. This would be so pretty to like Christmas dinner. Um, it's like a ponty knit also, so it's, you know, very flattering. It's great quality, um, a, th a little bit of a thicker material, so that's always nice. Okay, so this blouse I saw, and it had absolutely no tags, um, but I knew that it was something designer, high-end, just by the feel and the look of it. These sleeves are so cool. They have buttons around them, and then the buttons kind of continue down the front with this beautiful pleated silk um, kind of drape. Very dramatic, definitely Renaissance vibes. Um, and like I said, it had absolutely no tags anywhere. So um, I bought it, obviously, and I came home, and I was just kind of Googling like crazy Renaissance silk, pleated um, buttons, Googling all kinds of keywords trying to find it, and I stumbled onto the exact blouse um, from a Tradesy listing, and the brand is Donna Karen, and the 
the exact same blouse actually sold on Tradesy for $200, so that was awesome. I believe this was a runway piece um, from 2005, um, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I just think it's so, so beautiful. So I was really happy that I decided to get it. Okay, just a basic black pair of Athleta pants. These are a size large. I just listed a pair and they sold pretty quickly for $30. So I wanted to grab this pair. They're really nice, they're in great shape. They have the zippered pockets in front. And then we have an anthropology dress. This is super cute. The brand is Leaf's Daughter. It's a size, say, either six or eight. I think it says six. Or no, it might say eight. I don't know. I can't really read it. Um, but how cute is this? It's like pretty, uh, you know, like mod. And I love the print to it and these buttons. Um, very retro, so th that kind of stuff is definitely in right now. It has the cutout in back. Um, the outer layer is silk, so, um, and this was in great shape too. It zips on the side. Okay, next up we have Show Me Your Moo Moo, which I never ever find. Um, this is only like maybe my second or third time finding the brand. This is the Tessa tunic and it's black and then has a like gold, gold streaks running through it. Really pretty. Um, again, pick this up with like holiday parties, New Year's in mind. This is a size small. It also has a slit in the sleeve, which I think is really cool. Um, just a nice touch. And then we have J. Crew Collection. So this is more expensive than just your average J. Crew. Um, and it's Italian cashmere. It is 100% cashmere, size extra small. It has a little pocket here in front. And last but not least, we have a cardigan from Anthropology. The sub-brand on this is Saturday Sunday. It's a size small. And it's just a red and white striped cardigan. It has pockets and it does have a hood. So that's it for this week's Thrift Haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.